That one hit it as soon as it hit the water. Check out that one, guys. Heck yeah, look at that fish. Way up here, no water. Way up in this grass. That's awesome, guys. Look at that power jerk shed, pink. That's a long, skinny one, but man, beautiful fish just right out here. I just missed one, just made a cast back out there. Must be a couple out there, but. What is going on, everybody? Jay Ball, Blue is Outdoors. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. So I'm doing a little bit of exploring today. I'm on a solo mission. I'm down at the mouth of the Detroit River, the dumps in the Lake Erie. Not sure if you guys can see it over there, but um, I wanted to come down here and catch some largemouth bass. I know most people probably come here to catch uh, smallmouth and uh, walleye, but um, yeah, Troy Motor's freaking out because we're in some shallow grass right now. Hold on a second. Oopsie. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'll do some exploring. The reason why I came down here is I saw the MLF guys a couple years ago come down here and catch some giant bass. Um, you know, I, have a, I don't have a ton of time. I've got a couple hours to fish today, so I'm going to start shallow. I've already done a little bit of exploring out there. I haven't found too much cut of, cut of white bass and a catfish. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Do a little bit of exploring and just see if we can't find some largemouth. Not really worried about catching big ones. It'd be cool if I did. But uh, just doing some exploring and uh, trying to get back to like my roots and uh, not really worried about catching a ton, but just doing some exploring to find some new areas. So stay tuned. Hopefully it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day regardless. So appreciate you guys' support and let's see if we can't get a few fish today. So the bait I'm starting off with today is the uh, white Berkeley Power Jerk Shad. And I got this on a Vector, uh, I think it's a 4 out EWG hook with Beyond. Uh, beyond braid this is the pink python beyond braid and what i'm doing is i don't know it might be kind of hard to see but there's these little open grass areas so the current is going this way and you kind of see how the grass is is headed that direction so all i'm doing is just kind of fan casting this open grass area i've seen a few fish blow, blow up seen some bluegill so definitely some life in here um so yeah let's see if we can't get a few fish and uh oh, yeah one just one just jumped over there so again i've never fished in here like this before dylan and i came down here once last year really early in the season this grass was in here so yeah, let's see what we can do and uh, let's try to catch a few fish. All right, first largemouth bass of the morning on the Berkeley Power Jerk Shed. So just up here working this shallow grass flat, really super shallow, just working this Berkeley Power Jerk Shed like a jerk bait. And uh, yeah, beautiful fish, really cool dark colors on them. So we'll get them back and see if we can't pick up a few more and figure something out out here. I could be throwing the frog, pink frog, but I just like, like this power jerk shed there's a lot of small bait in here some dragonflies kind of hanging around so a lot of small little bait fish so we're gonna see if we can't get this power jerk shad to draw up a few it's not really that hard to work this power jerk shed either you just i kind of like to work it subsurface you know kind of like a wounded bait fish or something um working like a jerk bait it's rigged texas style so it's weedless but yeah, there's no really no wrong way to work this thing. Just kind of give it some jerks and some twitches and make it look like a wounded bait fish. And uh, yeah, man, the bass, bass can't stand it. Oh, looks like there's one up in there. Dang it. It's so fun because you can see him wake it. All right, so I decided to dip it in pink. You guys convinced me. I guess Berkeley does make a uh, pink power jerk shad. I just uh, didn't know it. So definitely have to uh, pick some up. Next time I order some baits. Missed it. Missed it twice. <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it. Feels like a better fish. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. That one hit it as soon as it hit the water. Check out that one, guys. Heck yeah, look at that fish. Way up here, no water. Way up in this grass. That's awesome, guys. Look at that power jerk shed, pink. That's a long, skinny one, but man, beautiful fish just right out here. I just missed one, just made a cast back out there. Must be a couple out there, but Vector uh, 4 out EWG hook with the Berkeley uh, power jerk shed with the pink python. 
uh, Camo Beyond Braid, and uh, yeah, nice fish. We'll uh, get some pictures and get her back. All right, let's get this fish back. Getting long, skinny, post-spawn female, but appreciate you playing, girl. Think she's ready? Yep. All right, let's try that again. A little bit deeper water right here. I don't know if that's where these fish are, but it's, it's hard to see. The sun keeps going behind the cloud, so I can't really see the, the troughs in this grass. So I'm just kind of blind casting. Oh man, there's a nice one too. Oh yeah, heck yeah. I'm gonna have to mark this spot. Man, that's another nice fish. Not a giant, but man, super fun up here. There we go. Not with all that fish, guys. Look at that. Been caught before, but get a nice post spawn female. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit thicker. Whoop. Trying to break my rod. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys. Power jerk shad. Pink's getting it done. First cast. Heck yeah. Get this fish back and we will get some more. I'm going to mark this spot real quick just so I know this is where I need to anchor. I'll tell you what, guys, these vector hooks are sticky. Like, this is the second fish, man. Like, they just do not... These hooks just don't come out <laughs> very easily. Let me get this hook out. That's a nice one too. Heck yeah. Run right for me. That's a nice fish. Heck yeah, guys. There's a decent class of fish up here. I'm not saying you're gonna win no tournament, but man, if you're if you're coming to the Detroit River, you wanna catch some really nice sized largemouth. Do not be afraid to come up here and fish this grass. That's a nice fish. Heck yeah, guys, check out that beautiful, chunky largemouth on that pink power jerk shad. Yeah, buddy, just throwing it up in the shallow grass over here, guys. Absolutely train wreck that thing. Beautiful, nice, healthy fish. Again, most people probably come to the Detroit River to catch smallmouth and walleye. I'm out here catching largemouth bass. Absolutely loving it. Gosh, next cast guys there's a bunch of fish right here holy crap this spot is freaking awesome man that's another nice fish damn that's a solid one for sure oh, man you have got to love the power jerk shad this time of year. Again, guys, I'm just fishing this really shallow grass. I just got done making a post on Instagram. It had been about five minutes since I caught the last fish. Picked up the pink jerk shad and next cast caught one. This, this place is freaking awesome. Never hurts to do some exploring, guys. Having a blast out here. These, these are good quality fish. I'm not saying you're going to win a tournament, but man, nice three, three and a half pounders. Can't beat it. Thank you for playing. I'm right, gonna switch it up and throw the uh, Bone Jay Walker from Berkeley. Um, it's getting windy. Wish I had a popper, but uh, yeah, I'll give this a try. I, I know I'm playing with fire just because the, all the grass and uh, this is only 10 pound braid with um, 12 pound fluorocarbon. So, but these fish are, you know, in this shallow grass and they are uh, hitting that fluke like that jerk shad like it's going out of style so i figured maybe throw something different out like a walking bait usually i like to use a popper when it's this windy or even like a whopper plopper but just wanted to give this jaywalker a try bone is my second favorite color just so you guys know for top water. I 
again, I'm not I'm not expecting him to hit this, but just trying to throw something a little bit different. I've caught four fish, just had one miss it. Oh, threw, took it away from him. Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess they want it. I might have stung him. Thought he had it. Let's try that again. Again, just trying to throw something a little bit different. I've, I've caught, like I said, three or four on that jerk shad. So maybe the fish that were chasing, if there was a couple chasing, just throw something a little bit different at them. Like I said, I know, like I said, there's grass right here. So I'm playing with fire. I get it. Probably hook a big one and bury me in the grass and won't be able to get them out. First time I've fished this Jay Walker, so. Oh man, that was a big fish. Dang, there's a lot of fish right here. I thought he had it. It's probably hard for him to key in on because it's so, again, wavy, but. There he is. That time I got him. That's a nice fish too. That's a really nice fish, guys. Holy crap. I'm trying to keep his head above the water because I don't want him to go in that grass. That is a nice fish. I mean, it's maybe a three and a half pounder, but first fish in the Berkeley Jaywalker up here in this really shallow grass. I see he just buried himself in the grass. There we go. Nice fish. There we go, guys. Check this fish out. Heck yeah. Not a giant, but man, these are fun. That's a good solid fish there. First fish ever on the Berkeley Jaywalker. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Had three or four blow ups. Finally connected. I mean, this is a juicy spot right here. There's a lot of fish. Here we go. First bass ever on the Bone Berkeley Jay Walker. Awesome, awesome fish. This is an awesome spot, guys. <laughs> There's another nice one, guys. Man, there's a lot of fish right here. Another one on the Jaywalker. It's a nice fish. Man, it's a good quality fish there. Heck yeah. Boy, that one wanted it too. Look at that one, guys. Absolutely smoked that Berkeley Jaywalker. Again, not a giant, just a really good class of fish right here. This is probably number five or number six I've caught in this one spot. So, absolutely awesome. Man, this is fun. This stuff doesn't get you excited. <clears throat> Definitely gotta check your pulse. Right. One's been caught a couple times. All right, everybody, just got back to the house. And yeah, like I said, I only had a couple hours to fish, but uh, man, got in a pretty good bite there on the Detroit River. And um, yeah, like I said, I was just doing some exploring. I didn't really have that high of expectations. Uh, super windy up in the bay right now, and then uh, the uh, elite guys are over on um, Lake St. Clair right now, and it's windy over there, so that's why I decided to go to the Detroit River today, and uh, didn't disappoint. Again, I, I wasn't really even expecting to catch that class of bass. Uh, caught a, a couple white bass and a catfish as well. Had an awesome time. So, yeah, I, I guess basically from this video, just don't be afraid to do some exploring and some adventuring. Uh, this year, I've been doing a lot more exploring in Saginaw Bay, trying to get away from the reeds and fish more offshore. And then like down in the Detroit River, Dylan and I have been down there in the springtime, but never in the summertime to, to fish this grass for these big bass. But it's not going to be the last time I go down there, I can promise you that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really short, just kind of doing some exploring here in Michigan, trying to find out some new places to fish and uh, bring you guys some new content. So hope you guys have been doing well. Appreciate the support. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, really close to 3,500 subscribers. Goal this year is 5,000. Um, so definitely appreciate all the support and remember the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks. And next time we'll see you in the water.